it is the next day. Um, I did come out and so I didn't do really that much at all yesterday on the boat. We did put that center line in and it looks like that has dried. But the one thing that I did do is I kind of really focused on doing this. I actually insulated one side. I've got a little bit more to do over here in this area, but I need to clean that out. But I've insulated part of the barn. And here's the crazy thing. The sound, I can't hear her. I mean, I, I don't hear the road sounds. Um, I'm also going to put some styrofoam here like I did here. Got to do some more, more here. But I'm thinking it's going to take maybe about three more bags or, you know, the rolls. Maybe, maybe four. But the sound is crazy. I mean, it's really not that... But then the other part, now still there's a lot of, a lot here that has not been finished. But um, I turned on the heaters and of course they've been running all day. But look at the temperature. I mean, it's, it's hot in here. So I'm going to kick off one of the heaters, but I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do this, this next row uh, on the, on the boat. This still didn't come together, so I'm gonna have to do some work there too. But it's gonna be warm enough so that I can do some work and things will dry. So let's just get started. So one of the things that I'm, I really kind of changed around is I'm actually using these clamps and I am liking how that works. I think I'm going to clamp as much as I can on all of this. I just won't be able to go as fast, but that's okay because I won't have to put as many staples in and dig them out. So I like that possibility.
So isn't this interesting? So I've got like 9,000, <laughs> well not necessarily 9,000, uh, different clamps. I'm gonna take and clamp that down a little bit more. But I've got all of these clamps on here and not a lot of staples. There's a few, but not a lot. Um, this is going to be pretty nice once when you take it off, but then there won't be as many little, you know, scrapes and bumps and stuff like that. So I'm going to clamp that one a little tighter and we're going to call it a day. Hey, thanks for joining us on another episode of the Bucket List Project. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do is just, uh, as we come out here to the barn, I've kind of made it a little bit more festive. Uh, it's probably not as great as what it could be. <clears throat> so we're gonna get all the lights turned on and get some heat going on in here. And I'm gonna take off all of the, the clamps and let's see what we end up having. So maybe I'm getting just a little bit better at putting these in, or maybe I know a little bit more about the tolerance now, uh, because I was able to get this in, um, really not taking that much time to do. All the clamps are working great. I'm not using any of the staples. I'm gonna come back here and put this in. And after that, um, I'm just gonna let this dry.
So it's the next day and um, I did come out here earlier and I put another row on. I put some walnut on. It's really looking good. Uh, the other thing is, as you can tell, I think we did talk about it yesterday. I did finish a lot of the insulation, but I've got a few pieces to put up here. Now I've not done anything with the ceiling, but I've had that space heater and this space heater on here and it is it's like 70 degrees in here so and it's I think 30 I guess you know I guess it's decent outside it's it's maybe 44 outside um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the ceilings yet but I do know that I've got a take and put those I want to put those braces all along because I think that'll be the height of the ceiling and by having that gap up there uh, that'll allow the fan to suck from one side to the other uh, once I have that that in there so we're just gonna go ahead and take off these clamps uh, this has actually been drying for uh, I'm gonna say three or four hours so hopefully it'll be good if not we'll just keep them on but uh, if we do take them off and everything's good I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna continue and put another another row on So this one here went down really nice uh, we're gonna do that the same on the other side and we'll just continue working these out the clamps are now not big enough to be able to go across that so we'll just end up using tape and you can see this is really coming in nice we'll just keep moving ahead so I'm just gonna kind of carry on um, it is a little disappointing that I didn't look at this a little closer um, I could go back and fix it but that would actually mean ripping out a lot of it and you know I, I've actually seen a number of crafts and if you look close enough on any of them none of them are perfect um, I think if I if I stay away from from the dark colors, I think that really kind of opens it up a little bit more so that you can see that. But if I stay to the lighter colors, I don't think it'll be as noticeable. But we will know. The thing is, is just all of this has gone together so well that I just really don't want to go back and do it over again.
Okay, if we kind of look down through there, I mean, see how, see how that becomes noticeable? I mean, you look at it like that. But, you know, if you're looking at it gliding through the water, I don't think that's gonna be that big a deal. So that's gonna about do it for today. Um, I probably won't get back out here until, well, I'm gonna come back out here and turn the heaters off, but probably won't come back out here until the 31st, um, which will be Thursday. Uh, just won't have any time to get back out. Make sure to hit that like button, um, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the uh, post notifications so that you can make sure that you get to see all the episodes of this kayak build. Thank you, and we will catch you on the flip side.